Hello guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. Let's get right into some replays while we talk about the best budget decks for the Link era. So, right off the bat, as you can see, I'm trying to place the true Draco if everyone insta surrenders. So, Dinos are bad now. God. <laughs> uh, dinos are not good anymore. You give your opponent a token, they go right into a Link Spider, then something, something else, and then you kind of just screw yourself over by giving them a Link Monster. Now, with the sneak peek out, which I'm going to in just a little bit, I'm going to go get some packs. I may be bringing that video to you guys. Dinos are not a thing anymore. It's all about basically... I've been looking through some cheap decks. So, first off, we have Light Swords. I'm actually building Light Swords. They're not very expensive. Minerva, I don't know the exact price of Minerva at the moment, but I know she's not like over $50. She's around $25. And you don't need multiple. You can get one out and be fine with that. And along with Judgment Dragon, now with the new uh, Twilight Swords coming out, it basically uh, makes it to where. Um, it, it's even stronger now. More support coming out for the deck is just always a better thing for the uh, for the game. I, I think that adding to already very cheap and budget decks, making them stronger, makes it easier for players that don't have a lot of money, as I do. Although I am running True Dracos, it is a very budget True Draco. So there's that. Um, it's budget in a way that it's only around one hundred dollars. It's under one hundred dollars, as if you saw my video, I explained why. But this is pure Dracos I'm playing right now in the background, which is why people are surrendering all the time. But basically, um, Dinos are not the way to go anymore. I. I I gotta say though, Cybers, getting three Link Strike Stretch decks only costs you $30, and Cybers, the Cybers deck is very easily able to get out, uh, the single, there's a two card combo, it's basically, um, Link, uh, what is his name, Link Slayer, and Draco Net, I think, that is the one that summons the Bitron, and with that does is give you a I'm really messing up the name right now it gives you a free whatever the link um, deco talker gives you a free deco talker um, using only your first normal summon whereas now you have a link monster and two cards other in your hand there's a lot of decks that I can think of that can combo with that it's monsters that can summon themselves easily that don't require a lot of um, like a lot of materials to function or normal summons to function because Cybers uses that and also you can continually upgrade your Cybers deck because Cybers is uh, where it's at it's, that's what I gotta say all these new Cybers cards and the fact that you can get a good amount of them in just a triple structure deck I just recommend using Cybers it's a very great deck to use Fluffles, number two, Fluffles. Um, I'm actually, I had my first competitive deck that I ever built. Like, the, earlier I played like second grade game where no archetypes, just no, not even combo decks, just, just Dragon. That was my deck, just Dragon. It was horrible. And then I decided to build Dark Magicians, which was a deck I built, but it was not competitive because Dark Magicians are not very powerful. And then I went into Fluffles. Fluffles are insane in Link. I'm just telling you right now. So, now in the Fluffle builds, you don't even need Link monsters. All you gotta go is go into Kraken, and then you go into Saber. And Saber special summons, so it doesn't have to go into your mon into your extra zone. Then you cr then you come in another Sabers with the first Sabers, and that gives you double Sabers and a Kraken. And one of the Sabers is in pretty much indestructible. Now, you could replace Kraken with Tiger to get the field wipe and then double, then like boost all of them. But Kraken can get out of cards that can't be destroyed. 
and also Tiger is targeting and destruction so it's a little bit easier to negate or there's a lot of monsters that can't be destroyed now meta so I just recommend going for Kraken but if you want to get that field wipe in like if they only have one monster and two spells or something like that not worth really the Tiger but if they have like five or so I recommend getting rid of most of the monsters uh, and maybe a few spell traps that could be a problem like a Solemn Strike uh, because if you target a Solemn Strike and it negates then they've used their Solemn Strike and basically that gets it out of the way but then you don't have something for Sabretooth so run that one card that can revive Fright first I don't know run triple that it's a spell card I just saw it earlier it's like soft revival I don't know but it, it works well um, basically you're going to be going for the triangle combo two sabers one on the top one on the bottom left of it and then one on the right and the reason you and then your kraken or uh, tiger on the right bottom right like kind of angled downwards so if you do go into a decode talker using the very simple penguin dog combo into sheep and you can do that and you can use um those three keeping the penguin on the field to go into deco talker then using the penguin for a another sabers which gives you another draw power and just so many combos with, um fluffles and stuff so there's that um now there's a problem that i have to admit is that i didn't think of three decks i thought of two and this is three decks but if there's a deck i would recommend i would recommend phantasm spiral lockdown this deck is about five dollars and it's insane like it can be boosted up with a little bit more money but still like a five dollar deck pretty much like em almost every single card is 20 cents the the, the like you're, you're not gonna be using your links that much and it's a little bit spammy on monsters with normal monsters being summoned every once in a while along with phantasm spiral dragon popping out of nowhere most of the time uh, you do need yourself to have one of like your pearl in the um if you have your pearl in yeah if you have your pearl in the extra zone you have five more zones to do three more phantasm spirals and three more monsters that have boosted attack or 2000 attack so it's pretty insane so it just it just gets better as it goes so phantasm spiral amazing deck it locks down as well if you get it good enough you do need solemn strikes if you want it to be fully locked down capable so just letting you know and that stuff and also you can run triple pot because uh you normal summon monsters but you do special summon in a few occasions so make sure that like you want to set up with one monster and you want to get all your phantasm spiral traps down and then the next and then that's when you activate your pot and you search the card and then you go into your phantasm spiral next turn and then it's just all beautiful and pretty and stuff and I recommend running set rotations instead of terraforming to search a field spell so you can lock your opponent out of field spells for the rest of the game until they get an MST card which they have to waste it on their own materials so it like it makes them waste materials it locks them out and uh, even then like I, I'm only running one magical field barrier so you know if you draw it you basically brick you get your hand down to four cards basically because if you play that card you're, you're technically locking yourself out now if you're running two you don't brick out of like if you draw it and set rotation you cannot activate set rotation if you're running one magical field barrier or whatever but if you're running two the chances of you drawing it are higher which is not what you want but the chance of you drawing it and not being able to search your field spell is much lower so it's it's pretty debatable which one I run one because I don't have enough like I have two decks where I'm running one on each you could run two but on my budget two Dracos I'm running one diagram along with three terraforming and three set rotation and one magical field bearer and one fire king island fire king island basically if your opponent activates it so they can go to another card because they can't do anything until they activate it the second they activate it if it leaves a field it wipes their field so basically they have to wipe their own field to get another field spell, but it's not locked down. It's just a uh, kind of a field thingy. I, I don't know. It's it's a, it's fine though. So yeah. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. I think it might be a little bit too long and I hope it wasn't too boring. 
But yeah, there we go. That's 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 all I gotta say for this type of file. Don't forget to subscribe and tell me if I could do something about like I don't know. I'm getting a stand really soon for my camera, so much better video quality soon. So bye.